Have you noticed more kids than ever wearing glasses lately? It's not just in your head, it's real. Hey guys, Dr. Modabra here, eye surgeon in Toronto, Canada, to help explain the rise of myopia or nearsightedness among kids throughout the world. Childhood myopia or nearsightedness requiring glasses to see the chalkboard or something is rising at an alarming rate. By 2050, half of the entire world population will be nearsighted. In places like Southeast Asia, closer to 80 to 90%, many of this arising and starting in early childhood. And what's causing the surge? You probably already guessed it. Too much near time, all these screens everywhere and too little outdoor time. And unfortunately, this near sightedness isn't just benign requiring glasses and then you're good. At higher prescriptions, it increases the risk for other more serious complications like retinal detachment, glaucoma, and even blindness later in life. So it is imperative that we try and rein it in and minimize that level of myopia as early as we can in childhood. Here's the good news. Myopia can be managed. There are a couple of rules to follow. The first one is get out there, go out, play, go play outside, minimize screen time. There's such a rule as the 20, 20, 20 rule. So every 20 minutes of near work, close your eyes, take a 20 second break, look out into the world beyond 20 feet to help change the sort of shape and the squeezing of your eyeballs, always focusing on near. Ask your eye doctors about myopia management if you notice your kid's prescription is continually going higher and higher. There are specialized glasses, contact lenses, uh, and even drops that can help reduce the rate of progression of nearsightedness. Let's protect our kid's vision for life. Follow for more health tips. Take care.